Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm actually going to be explaining something a little bit different than my usual videos. So normally I talk about development related stuff, and I guess this is kind of development related, but I want to explain how Roblox accounts are actually getting hacked so often, and how you can prevent yourself from getting hacked. So you guys might have heard about like cookies on, uh, you know, your web browser. Sometimes you'll even like be on a website and it'll say, we are using your cookies, do you accept to, uh, you know, allow us to use them? And then you have to hit accept or whatever. That might be how you know about them. But actually on Roblox, they have their own cookies, obviously, every web website does and if somebody gets a hold of your cookies they can actually log into your account with just your cookies and literally bypass your entire password your entire you know two-step authentication literally just with a simple cookie now the reason why they actually can do that is basically because whenever you like log into roblox for example right and you want to go to i don't know a different web page right let's say i'm on roblox I'm on my account and i want to click to the games page right i have to load a new tab though as you can see it switches the link to you load a new tab now if you didn't actually have that cookie which is like a, a unique generated you know string it wouldn't really know if you were still the same person. It would have to actually have you log in again, if that makes any sense, right? So it gives you just a one-time use cookie when you're logged in, and then whenever you log out, it resets it, but it gives you that cookie, that way you don't have to actually log in every time you go to a new uh, a new page. And now basically, those cookies or whatever are inside of your console, okay? So you have to press F12 to open that, and I'm not gonna do it right now, I'm gonna do it in a second. All right, so I'm actually on an alt right now, as you can see, I'm on a different web browser as well, that way you know, I don't leak anything too important. But as you can see, I'm on an alt, and I'm logged into Roblox in this account called Revamp. Dev, okay now if I go ahead and press F12 right now what's gonna happen is my console is gonna open all right now you guys probably have done this before I mean literally everyone does you open up your console right you can inspect element let's say I want to you know change this revamp dev to different something else where I can go to here inspect I go you know revamp dev and I'm gonna look at me I'm a hacker um, I change my name to the dev king boom there you go and as you can see that I just changed that with by just inspecting the element which is an editing a little bit of code but it's pretty simple to do right now that's just this right now if you go to your applications page right here okay so I can't really show you too much right here as you can see but I'm on the area where my cookies are okay in my application page now as you can see it's chosen on just Roblox right here right it literally says warning do not share this sharing this cookie or sharing this will allow someone to log in as you and steal your Robux okay so yeah don't share this okay do not show this to anyone that you know or anyone that asks you for it there's literally no reason anyone should ever know this do not give this to anyone okay this is how people can hack your account but basically my my friend sent me his cookie which is <laughs> probably kind of weird <laughs> But just for testing purposes, obviously, I'm going to show you literally just how easy it is to actually get into someone's account when you have their cookie. So when you have someone's cookie, literally all you do is you copy their cookie, you go into here, you paste it in here, you hit enter, and boom, I'm in your account. Now, literally all you have to do is press refresh and you're in. Now, as you can see, I'm literally on their account. Um, I'm on my uh, own web page, as you can see. But as you can see, I'm on their account, key in six. I hit profile. It's literally that simple. I'm literally on his account right now, and I can do whatever I want. I can literally go into groups. I can, you know, take stuff from his groups. I can... He doesn't have any groups, actually. <laughs> I see his three Robux. I can take his Robux. You know what I mean? I can do whatever I want. I'm going to go to his uh, little profile page right here, and then I'm going to change his uh, status to get hacked. Okay, and as you can see, I'm literally on his account. I just changed that. And this is obviously pretty crazy, right? Literally, all you need is a simple cookie and you're on their account. I'm going to go ahead and join a gamer now just to prove to you guys this actually works. All right, look, I'm going to join one of his friends' game right here, Pipeline. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and hit join, hit open Roblox, and I'm going to literally be in, in his game on his account. I'm literally on his account, okay? And this is kind of crazy. I mean, literally, all I did, like he said, oh, hey, Kian. <laughs> He thinks I'm Kian. He literally thinks I'm Kian. It was that simple to get on his account, okay? Look, look what he's saying. <laughs> That's what's it. But, okay, obviously, okay, it's kind of funny how this is working, but obviously this is an issue, right? It's way too easy to get into these people's accounts. But really, I mean, it kind of makes sense why it has to happen like this, right? Because you want to make sure you can stay on the account whenever you're, you know, going from page to page. So what's the most important is that you don't let anyone get your cookies. Now, how do you actually let people get cookies, right? Thought you weren't going to be on today. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna leave this game though. Okay, so obviously it's really important though that you don't let anyone get your cookie. But how are people still getting hacked by this, right? How are people actually getting their cookies and how are they doing that? So basically, if you guys know, a lot of you guys know that if you click on a link, sometimes it can be bad because sometimes people can have IP loggers and they can basically take your IP from that link, right? But what's even worse is people can actually take your cookie from just clicking on a link, okay? They have a little bit of JavaScript in the link that you don't see and then you click on the link and then boom, it gives them all of your cookies. Now, once they have that, literally all they have to do is what I just showed you. They go on the console, they paste the cookie into theirs, they hit refresh, and boom, they're on their account. Now, obviously, it's not good. So, one thing to do, all right, as a tip, avoid clicking on all links. Do not click on any link. Unless it's your friend and you trust them, do not click any links. It's really not worth it, okay? If you if you see a link, um, sometimes they can even change like the actual like link behind it. So, what you can do is just type in the link in your web browser. You can go roast.com slash games and then blah, 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 right? You shouldn't ever really just click on a link because something bad can happen. If you guys want to learn more about this, though, there actually is a good dev forum post right here. I'm not going to read the whole thing 
thing, but basically it explains the do's and don'ts of this. So obviously, do not click on any links, okay? Don't go on your console if you don't know what it means. I mean, there's really no reason to. Don't ever download anything random, okay? Do not download stuff. It, there's really no reason you ever should. Also, don't ever send anyone an HAR file, okay? Those are basically an uh, stands for, I think, HTTP archive file, and it contains data about your cookie and stuff like that. All right, now, if you think someone actually has their cookie, what you can do is actually just log out of your account and log back in, and it'll be reset, and they'll be out of your account. My friend's not here right now, so like, he can't do that for me, but if all he literally had to do was log out and log back in, and then boom, he'd have his cookie reset. So also another tip is be sure to never actually run anything, okay? Never download any random file. If someone tells you to download like an .exe file or really anything, don't download it, okay? There's really no reason you should. Obviously, unless you trust them a lot, then you maybe can, but just do not download random files from random people, okay? And then most importantly, really, just check the link when you click on their browser, okay? If, if, the, if the link says Roblox.com, it should be safe, but sometimes people can actually hyperlink the links. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so for example, I have this little text document right here. What people can do is actually hyperlink a link with another link. So let's say I have, okay, Roblox.com right here, okay? I have HTTP www.roblox.com and it should become a link i'm pretty sure i'm not sure it's why it's not okay now as you can see it shows that link right there okay so for example if i have a i have a, a little server right here okay if i send a link in here as you can see, you see how it's all like that color? It's like blue. It looks all nice, right? It's a blue link. So that way you know it's actually a link. Now the thing is, as you can see, when I when I hover over it, a little white box pops up with the actual link. And that's the real link you're actually clicking on, okay? So what people can do is they can actually hyperlink a link, which basically means they um, put like a little um, link like that, right? And they insert a link into the text. So as you can see, they hit edit link. And then they actually put the real link right here. So they'll put like, you know, obviously their malicious site or whatever. So they'll put like, you know... Uh, this, their fake site, you know what I mean? And then they hit apply. So actually, I'll put YouTube right here, though, as you can see. And now when you actually click on the link, it brings you to YouTube instead of Roblox, right? It looks like Roblox, but since they hyperlinked the link, it you, pops up to YouTube. Now, the issue with that is not on every, you know, platform, not like on Google Docs, it actually shows you this right here. But on most platforms, it doesn't actually show you the link you're clicking on, right? It, it, it will if you hover over it. It'll have like a white box normally. But normally, when you click on the link, it just goes right to it. You don't have, you don't have this little prompt right here, right? That's how it is on most, um, you know, applications. All right, so that's basically how you kind of avoid getting cookies stolen, okay? Um, but also, there are more ways to get hacked. Another way people get hacked are through database leaks. All right, let me show you guys what I mean, though. All right, so as you can see, I have a website right here called haveibeenpwned.com, and basically, if you type in your, you know, email, whatever you have, I'll do my friend's email, English at gmail.com. As you can see, He's been pwned, okay? <laughs> and basically what that means is he's been in a database leak. Now what a database leak, if you guys don't know, is it's basically when like a, you know, a big database, like a, you know, for example, like let's say, you know, like the Twitter database, right, with all the logins. Let's say they get say it gets hacked and then people leak it to the public, right? That's the whole database and it gets leaked. And what happens is they have that email and they have a password connected to each other. And then a lot of people use the same password for everything, so then they can get hacked from that because their password is literally publicly out there without them even knowing it. So as you can see, if you go on this website right here and you just put in your email, it'll literally tell you if you've been in a database leak. Now, obviously, it doesn't have all of them. There are some databases that people don't know have been leaked yet, so it doesn't have all of them, but it has, you know, most of the popular ones. And as you can see, he has been pwned 12 times, okay? That's pretty bad. Now, it doesn't actually tell you their password here, but if you go on sites like LeakPeak and you type in the email, it'll literally tell you their password. As you can see, I hit key in English.gmail and boom, it literally tells you part of them. Now, it doesn't show you the whole thing. You actually have to like pay for it, which is pretty weird that they even allow you to do that. But that's kind of crazy, you know what I mean? They really shouldn't allow you to do that. So one thing you'd avoid that, obviously, is make sure you have your separate password for every website that you have, right? Because if you use the same password and one of them gets leaked, you have to change all of your passwords after that, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of work in the, after that. And also, it's a lot easier to get hacked because sometimes you don't know if a database has been leaked. So make sure you use different passwords for everything, but also, Come on this website right here, haveimpwned.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. Come on here and type in your email, see if you've been hacked. And if you have, be sure to change your passwords if you've used that password again on a different website. All right, now the final way Roblox accounts to actually get hacked is through social engineering, which is basically where someone pretends to be you and then gets in your account like that. So what they'll do, for example, right, is they'll go on your account and they see, you know, this is your account or whatever. And let's say maybe they know like your old email that you signed up with, or they know your old password that you used to use, or they know maybe like a gift card that you redeemed one time, right? They'll, okay, so the, what they'll do is they email Roblox and they'll be like, hey, I lost my account and I can't get back in. I don't have the email or password. And then what they'll do is they'll be like, but I do have a gift card. Uh, I, I used it on my account. Here it is. 
and that's somewhat proof that actually it kind of is you. And sometimes Roblox will actually fall for this, or really any website can, but sometimes, you know, Roblox can, you know, be like, okay, maybe, maybe that is him, and then they'll let you, they'll be like, okay, um, here's your, uh, here's a link to reset your password or whatever like that, right? Obviously, you can get social engineered in a million different ways, you know what I mean? It, you just kind of have to find a vulnerable person. I mean, it's, it's a weird process how it works. I mean, literally, people will just be sitting there emailing, 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 until they find one person who will be like kind of into it, and someone will be like, okay, maybe it is him, and then they'll give it to him. I mean, it's a lot of work, obviously, but it's that's how some Roblox accounts get hacked, right? So what you need to avoid this really is honestly don't give out any information, even if it's like an old email or an old password or even an old gift card. This is actually a popular hacking method, I'm pretty sure. Like a lot of people got hacked by this, like with the gift card example, right? People would give out an old gift card code they use. They'd be like, haha, it's funny, you know what I mean? You know, go redeem that, but really they just redeem themselves. And then people actually hacked them through that. So make sure you're not doing that. It's kind of information that shows that it's your account, even though, you know, it doesn't really tell anything. But, you know, Roblox thinks, okay, use that code. No one else is going to use that. No one else is going to know to use that because normally you don't tell people your other, you know, your gift card code. So that's why Roblox thinks maybe it's kind of information that only you would have. So, yeah. Also, make sure you're not changing your information on your Roblox pe page, right? If someone ever tells you to, like, put a link inside of your Roblox account, they say, like, you know, they, they say change your status to, you know, uh, you know, this uh, test or whatever, don't do that, okay, because that could be a way that a, a Roblox admin is trying to verify your account, you know what I mean, they may be saying, okay, change your status for us if, if you, to prove that you're on it, you know what I mean, so just don't kind of change your profile for somebody else, like, if they're actually asking something weird, you know what I mean. Alright, so yeah, that's basically how Roblox accounts get hacked, I know that was kind of weird, um, I know you guys might not expect this kind of video, but I just, I just wanted to explain it to you guys, I don't I don't want you guys to get hacked, okay, I know, I know a lot of people who do get hacked, and obviously it sucks really bad, uh, some good news though, if you do get hacked, you can actually try to email Roblox, and if you lost over 15k Robux uh, worth of limiteds or just robux in general then they should give you a rollback you get one rollback per account pretty much so try not to you know use that obviously try not to get hacked in general obviously no one wants to but if you do get hacked and you lose some stuff you actually can try emailing roblox so give that a shot if you did get hacked but yeah and obviously this was for, ed this was for educational purposes do not hack anyone guys seriously it's not cool and uh you know just kind of stay safe out there just don't make it don't do anything dumb i'm sure you guys will be fine though Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want more Roblox-related content. Normally, I do development-related stuff, but yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.